So no matter which hosting provider you're using for your podcast, you'll definitely want to submit it to Apple Podcasts to make it available not only in Apple Podcasts, one of the biggest places podcasts are consumed, but by default, make it available in loads of different apps, directories and platforms as well. So to submit to Apple Podcasts, you do need an Apple account and you need to go to podcastsconnect.apple.com. Okay, this is what you'll see once you're logged in, but before we do anything, we need to go over to our hosting provider. Okay, so my podcast is hosted on Spotify, so what I need to do is go to the settings and availability and down to RSS distribution and just copy this RSS feed link. Okay, then jump back to Apple Podcast Connect and beside podcasts, that big plus symbol there and we want to click new show. Okay, in show type here, we're going to add a show with an RSS feed. And we just need to paste our RSS feed in there and click add. All right, this process could take a few minutes. So if it seems to be processing, just leave it for a few minutes and come back. But you'll see it's now pulled all the details through from my hosting provider from Spotify. So you could just double check all of this. So it's going to ask you some questions, update frequency, you know, maybe it's a weekly podcast. You could stick that in there. You could tick here if you've got explicit content, which uh, that, that is a content decision you'll have to make because that's going to um, limit your reach in Apple Podcasts. It's going to ensure that you're not available in certain countries around the world. So that, that's a content decision that you yourself have to make. But if you've got explicit content, just be sure to click that. There's also the availability tab. So in here, you'll see we have the ability, you know, if you make a decision that you don't want to be uh, listed in a certain country, you could do that here. Um, for, for the intents of my show, I'm just going to make it available in all countries or regions. Distribution, we definitely want to leave that ticked. Uh, transcripts as well. You could have auto-generated transcripts by Apple or you could upload your own. And you could choose to release the show as soon as it's published, or you could pick a, a date and a time for that. So heading back to show information then, let's just have a final wee check over it. Here's a content rights section. So my show doesn't contain any third party content. And there's an option down here to leave a name, an email and a phone number as well. So up we go then to save. And then we're all ready to hit publish. So that's really it. And I'll have an email in my inbox now from Apple telling me that the podcast has been submitted and I'll expect to see it in there within an hour or two, I guess. Uh, and like I say, this isn't just about being available on Apple Podcasts, although that is a huge thing for any podcast. But by default, you're going to start to see your show pop up in places like Overcast, Podcast Addict and Pocket Cast and many others on top of that. So that's how to submit a Spotify podcast to Apple Podcasts and you would follow this same process regardless of whatever hosting provider you're using to host your podcast. Most hosting providers these days, excluding Spotify, they have a button where you could directly submit to Apple Podcasts and that's super convenient. You don't have to go through this process, but I still recommend that you do this because now we're in Apple Podcasts Connect, we have access to all sorts of different analytics. You know, we could check things like listen time inside Apple Podcasts. There's all sorts of different engagement stats. So I would recommend, you know, rather than uh, using your hosting providers button, which submits it directly to Apple Podcasts, I would always do it this way. Each time you're creating a new podcast, submit it to Apple Podcasts yourself using the, the copy and paste of the RSS feed link. And like I say, that's going to give you access to loads and loads of useful data for keeping track of and growing your podcast. I hope that's been helpful and if you're after a place to host and distribute your podcast and want an all-in-one platform to help you create it too, then be sure to check out Alitu. With Alitu, you could record right inside the platform. It handles cleanup, EQ and volume levelling automatically. Then you could use the episode builder to piece everything together. It even generates transcripts and if you delete the text in there, it removes the matching audio, making podcast editing as simple as editing a Word doc. Try it out yourself free for seven days at alitu.com. That's A L I T U.com.